one of the most powerful features Spring Framework offers is declarative transaction management. You just need to add a transactional annotation on a method and Spring Framework will take care of running that method in a transaction. But we may misconfigure the annotations or we misunderstood how transaction management works and maybe we get into some database transaction handling issues. So this is where Spring Debugger plugin helps us to identify these transaction management issues and help us to fix them. So let's see how we can use Spring Debugger plugin. Let's take an example use case of creating a new bookmark. Here we have two entities, bookmark and category, and we get the inputs, title, URL, and category name. So first we need to check whether there is a category exists with the given category name. If it does not exist, we need to first create a new category, save it into the database, and then we need to save a new bookmark data. And if both succeeds, good. But if for some reason, only category creation succeeds, but saving the bookmark fail, then we should not roll back the category creation. We should let category saved into the database and only roll back the changes for bookmark creation. So this is the use case. And let's see, I have implemented that. Here we have a create method and we are annotating the method with head transactional. And Spring is going to start the database transaction here. And then we are checking whether if there is a category exists with the given category name. If it does not, then we are going to first save a category by calling another method here. And if you notice, here we have added a transactional with the propagation level set to request new. So I am hoping it is going to start a new transaction and save it in the database. And if this method succeeds, it is going to persist. And then we go back to the original method and proceed to save the bookmark data. So if there is any issue while saving the bookmark, I hope this is going to be persist into the database and only roll back the changes that happens here. So this is how I hope it to work. But now here I have a uh, test case that is verifying. We have a category name and we are checking this does not exist in the database already. And then we are trying to create a bookmark by passing this character name. And I pass the URL value as null, so it will fail to save into the database. And I am hoping I'm going to get this exception. But after this, I am expecting the category should be persisted into the database. Here I am getting that category with the category name, and I am expecting it to be not empty. So let me run this test and see whether it is going to succeed or not. Okay, it seems the test failed and the reason is optional to contain a value, but it was empty, which means the category is not saved. But looking at this, I hope it should work, but it is not. So now I need to figure out why it is not working. So how can I do that? As I mentioned, debugging these transaction management issues by going through the, all the AOP proxies code is really painful. So this is where we are going to use Spring Debugger plugin and identify the issue. You can go to Plugin Marketplace and install this Spring Debugger plugin. I have already installed it. Now I'm going to put a breakpoint in create bookmark method and also in create category method. And I'm going to run this test in debug mode. Now let us see how the database transactions are working here. So I am in this create bookmark method. And in the debug tool window, you can see a node called transaction. And if you click on this navigate to source, it will take you to the place where the database transaction started. And you can also expand this and see whether this is a read only transaction, what is the isolation level and what is the propagation behavior and all that information. So now let us uh, go to this create category method, now it is still showing, if you click on this navigate to source, it is still showing that the database transaction is started in create bookmark method only, not in create category. So which means still this create category code is running in the same transaction that is started here. But we thought 
we have this a transactional annotation on this create category method and it is going to start a new transaction but evidently it is not the case why because when you are calling a method in the same class this is going to be a local method call which is not going to through a proxy and doesn't take this annotation into the consideration that is why it is not uh, starting a new transaction and then executing this method so that is why when this create bookmark failed it is not only rollback bookmark creation it is also roll, rolling back the category creation so now that we understand the issue let us move this method into category service and then see how it behaves i have moved the create category method into category service here using the propagation level as requires new and i have changed this reference to category service so now let us run the test in debug mode and see how this is going to behave this time so now we are in this create bookmark method and as you can see clicking on this it is going to show the database transaction is starting here now let us proceed and we are in category service create category method and if you take a look at this the transaction that is currently the current method running in a transaction that is started in category service dot create method if you click on this it will take you to a create category method that means it is running in a, a new transaction not the one started in bookmark service if you expand this node you can also see there is a parent transaction information so what happened is first a parent transaction is started in bookmark service create bookmark method and then we entered into this category service create category method which started a new transaction so we can see all the database transaction information mm -hmm. and the hierarchy of the transactions everything in this debug tool window and again we can see all the information what is the current isolation level what is the current propagation uh, behavior in the current transaction so you get all this information and now let us proceed and yes so right now our code is behaving as expected if there is any issue in saving bookmark only the bookmark creation fails but the category is persisted in the database so this is how spring debugger helps us to visualize what is the transaction in progress and if there is any parent and child hierarchy it will also show all that information in addition to visualizing the database transactions we can also see various entity states like we have jpa entities and they can be in different states so let us start this test in debug mode and see how an entity can go through various uh, states so here we have created a new bookmark bookmark is a jpa entity and here you can see it is currently in a transient state this is a new object created and it is not yet persisted into the database now let us proceed and here you can also see there is another entity called category and currently it is in detached mode why we have called category service and we created a new entity but then we returned uh, from category service to bookmark service so currently it is in a detached state and if you go to uh, here now we call bookmark repository dot save which is going to save the bookmark into the database and as you can see that changed state from transient to main list now so this is how you can explore various entity state changes as you debug through your code so this additional information about the various entity state changes is really helpful for debugging these jp related issues as you can see, Spring Debugger really helps us to identify the database transaction issues and provides a lot of information about the GP entities and all. So go ahead, install the Spring Debugger plugin, and you can also check out the documentation in uh, IntelliJ IDEA documentation. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.